I'm so happy. Give me good sound on microphone. When I'm coming into your presence, I'm so glad. There's none like you, Jesus. There's none like you. There's none like you, Lord. None like you, Jesus. None like you. Ba 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 ba. Father, we want to say thank you. It's been wonderful. In the midst of a year that is filled with health crisis, global challenges, you've been our God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh God, my help in a just past my hope for years to, to come. My shelter from the stormy blast and my You did not allow the enemy to laugh on us. You actually intervened. Yes, Lord. You intercepted at various junctions of challenges. Mm. Lift your hands, people, wave your hands and thank him for all you have received in 2020. In the midst of the whole trouble on earth, he kept you. Yes. He sustained you. He preserved you. He protected you. He provided for you. Can you just wave your hands and say to him, Thanks. Thanks. We give you thanks for all you have done in my life. We are so blessed. So blessed. Our souls has found rest. Our, Our souls has, has found, found rest. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. We give you thanks. We give you thanks, oh Lord. Thanks. 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 We give you thanks for all you have done. Holy Spirit Divine, as we wrap up this morning, Wednesday meeting for 2020 this morning, come among us, overwhelm everyone, overtake everyone. But the preacher and the brethren, may we experience God in another dimension. 
Lord, this morning, let your hand take hold of our hands. Take us through the remaining few days into 2021. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' name, if you are a believer here, shout the loudest. Amen. Take your seat. I will share briefly on the plan of God we prevail. The plan of God we prevail. The plan of God we prevail. We will read Genesis chapter 6. Today we want to be wrapping up for the year as far as uh, morning healing service on Wednesday is concerned. I'm so glad that the Lord through it all sustained us all through the year and brought us to the very last fellowship for the Wednesday prayer the hour of divine visitation to God be all the glory the plan of God shall prevail can you say it very loud you are not sounding well this morning the, are you sure you're here if you're here say it loud the plan of God shall prevail Genesis chapter 6 I will read from the first verse it's going to be a pretty long reading but very good you will learn as we read and if we can do a chorus reading that would be wonderful so if you don't have your bible you can look at the screen but always come with your bible it's important the studio just rule us as we read where we will stop I will tell us to stop let's go when men began to increase in number on the earth and daughters were born to them the sons of God saw that daughters of men were beautiful and they married any of them go ahead then the Lord said my spirit will not contend with man forever for he is mortal his days will be an hundred and twenty years now keep it there and jump to move to verse 9 i wanted us to catch that 120 years because it will be very emphatic as i discussed with you this morning verse 9 read this is the account of noah noah was a righteous man blameless among the people of his time and he walked with God Noah had three sons Shame, Ham and Japheth now the earth was corrupt in God's sight and was full of violence God saw how corrupt the earth had become for all the people on earth had corrupted their ways so God said to Noah I'm going to put an end to all people for the earth is filled with violence because of them I'm surely going to destroy both them and the earth so make yourself an ark of cypress wood make rooms in it and coat it with pitch inside and out you people are not reading. Are you dumb in this church? Read with me. This is how you are to build it. The ark is to be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. Read on. Make a roof for it and finish the ark to within 18 inches of the top. Put a door in the side of the ark and make lower, middle, and upper decks read on i'm going to bring flood waters on the earth to destroy all life under the heavens every creature that has the breath of life in it everything on earth will perish now move to chapter 7 verse 1 chapter 7 verse 1 read the lord said to noah Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Take with you seven of every kind of clean animal, 
Amen. And its mate. And two of every kind of unclean animal. A male and its mate. And also seven of every kind of bird. Male and female. To keep their various kinds alive throughout the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Now give me your attention for a few minutes. Look up here. The plan of God shall prevail. Say it loud. Once more. Human beings make plans. Most times, the plans we make don't work the way we made it. Arrangements, orchestrations, severally don't follow that pattern. Well, most of the time, it does work. But much much it doesn't work the way we planned somebody will say well 2020 i planned it like this i planned it like this but covid 19 disrupted my plan do you hear such talk or the way it should have gone the things i should have done in the first quarter of the year second quarter of the year or the or the or, no, the projections i made or the things i thought will have happened or the blessings i expected did not come exactly the way i expected it and most people are not so very happy because some feel they didn't achieve their goals or their targets but listen to me because you're still alive i want to announce god has a plan for you that plan god has for you is so different from the plan he has for someone else god does not have the same kind of plan for all of us that is why we don't arrive at target through the same process the kind of plan God has for you is the kind of process you will go through. There are some persons who will be going to Lagos. God will pass them through Ore. There are some who will be going to Lagos. God will pass them through Abuja. There are some who will be going to Lagos. God will pass them through Owa. There are some who will be going to Lagos. God will go and pass them through Kogi first. Am I communicating in church this morning? God will pass you through processes. To be able to achieve the plan he has for your life. Your own is to follow him systematically. Step by step. Until he brings you to his will. Who will ever believe. That God had a plan. To make Joseph a prime minister. But he first of all. Made him a prisoner. I don't know what I'm communicating this morning. God had a plan to make Joseph a what? A prime minister. But he first of all allowed him to be hated, allowed him to be thrown inside a pit, allowed him to be sold to the Ishmaelites, allowed him to serve Potiphar, and Potiphar's wife accused him of rape, allowed him to go to royal prison, allowed those he interpreted their dreams in the prison to forget him until one day it was a time for him to be remembered. And from the prison, he became a prime minister. Such things don't happen, they are not common. Now, it was the plan of God. Everything you are going through in life are all programmings in God's plan to bring you to his will. Every challenge you're facing are all processes in God's plan. It is by the time you get to the will of God, by the time you arrive at the plan of God, you will be satisfied you had gone through those processes. There are some things you will not learn by smartness. You must go through experiences. You must go through challenges listen to me show me somebody who has achieved so much in life and i've shown you somebody that have gone through a lot of trouble a lot of challenges a lot of ups and downs a lot of unpleasant realities a lot of things that he would never want to be exposed to and somebody will say god i thought you're taking me to lagos why did you bring me to Abba first god won't talk to you in fact when god is taking you through his plan you, there are some questions you ask he will not answer <laughs> there are some there are some requests you make he will not grant you will complain and cry and quarrel he will keep quiet you will fast and pray he will not give you a revelation why he's taking you through a process he's taking you somewhere big somewhere powerful but be rest assured his plan is always good plan to give you a hope a future and an expected end when we have disappointments and frustrations we complain we cry that god did not fulfill the things the time we expected hear me god does not do things on our terms he does things on his terms 
in his own time not in your time in his own time he makes all things beautiful not in your time your time in fact our time is now talk to me here when do you want god to bless you now when do you want god to open your doors now when do you want god to turn things around for you now but you are now as far as god is concerned maybe three years time god will answer every prayer you pray but god gives the answer timing for manifestation oh my god i hope i'm really talking to people who understand today is the last fellowship for the year so god gave me a message for you and the message says even though you may not have hit your goal or your target my plan still prevails it may take long time for god's real plan to come out in your life you gotta wait for it it will surely speak and shall not delay and shall not fail because because god cannot fail his plans shall never fail be patient and follow god and wait for his plan to materialize most times the plan of god looks like a delay hello it looks like what a delay god does not behave like satan satan will give you what you want now and destroy you tomorrow amen but god will take you through a process so that you will learn humility i have to break i have to break down before i go into my test will be the end of all i'm saying why i read let me break this thing down the children of israel with abraham isaac and jacob god has promised them a land the plan of god was to give them canaan amen but there were too few to possess it they were too few to take over canaan now canaan was a land occupied by the ammonites the philistines the Gagashites, the moabites the hivites the jebusites these were powerful powerful warring nations that to confront them was too difficult now if god wanted israel to possess the land as few as they were listen to me people they would be destroyed in one day so for god to give them that land god had to take them to egypt to multiply their number they were going to canaan the plan of god was canaan the will of god was canaan but the number they were was too small to take the possession he had to take them to to egypt to multiply them that's why he sent joseph ahead they may be complaining god you promised our fathers canaan but you have taken us to egypt that's not your will for my life but the egypt was part of the process for canaan possession egypt was a place to multiply them i pray you will not miss god's plan in your life i pray you follow him one step one step after the other amen if you are in a hurry you will miss the plan if you are in a hurry you will bust the process any step you jump listen to me if you did not do primary six you went to secondary school in primary five you will never know primary six stuff You were too intelligent you were too smart and when you were in ss1 in secondary school you took wayek and cleared your papers and in ss1 you entered university listen to me you are an amateur there are things you will never know i don't know what i'm communicating here after going to school you go for wisdom intelligence is not wisdom there are too many graduates who don't know nothing if you deal with them you will cry who even graduated this one? Oh, i became a graduate at 21 thank god for you come and discuss with a person empty head We're just passing exam i'm telling the truth unemployable graduates you call them for interview and they do written interview you will cry some of their handwriting look like a cooker dancing on the sun you wonder how did this one go through university how can somebody who is a graduate you can't read what the person wrote you can't read it 
A will look like this, B will look like that. But the person is a graduate of banking and finance. <laughs> God have mercy. You wonder how this person got to this point. Do you know why we have bad, bad workmen? Vulcanizers who will patch tire here. The, the tire will leak over there. People hate apprenticeship. People hate processes. People hate training. They want it sharp, sharp. It doesn't work like that. Somebody serving his master, you'll be stealing from your master. You don't want to be mentored or discipled. You want to start your own. Look at many of them rocking, rocking their lives in the midst of the day. To even make the matter more interesting. After God multiplied them in Egypt. Hello. By the time they left Egypt, they began to possess the promised land. But God said to them, I will not allow you to conquer the whole land of Canaan. Because you are still too small to possess it. So, I will allow some nations to stay. And you become concrete them little by little. So that you multiply along. Because if I chase them all the way at the same time, wild animals will give you trouble. This God, eh? Because if God chased the whole Jebusite, Amorite, at once, away, and tell and and told Israel like three billion people to occupy the land they will not completely occupy it and white animals will give them trouble so God allowed them to conquer those land little by little so that they can multiply as long as they conquer so that they can anyone they chase there will be enough people to occupy the land God is a master planner he doesn't make mistakes everything you are going through in life is no mistake it's a process allow God to get you through it Noah was born in a generation that was fast like his own time. Now, this is one of the fastest generation. Talk to me here. This is our generation. is called, I call it Indomi Macroni generation. Everything fast. Fast life, fast food, <laughs> fast internet, fast phone fast education fast fast what fast tell us <laughs> fast government everything fast they want it to happen na 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 this is a generation that have killed a mother called patience in fact if they give you the name patient now you will cry nobody the name patience has left vocabulary of names what they answer now is good luck <laughs> it's not favor miracle prosper patient blood of jesus <laughs> nobody wants to answer patience I know when I was a small boy, there was one lady that answered endurance. Sister Endurance. If you give your child that name now, and the child grows up to hear that her name is Endurance. Ndidi. <laughs> oh, God have mercy. She will change it to Sophia. <laughs> because patience has left the virtue of the generation God said to Noah the earth is corrupt listen to me the, if God said the earth is corrupt in Noah's generation how corrupt are we now <laughs> if God said the earth was what corrupt like 6,000 years ago how corrupt is the corruption now so what God called corruption then was even, was even more comfortable than what you are seeing right now. Because corruption now has gone nuclear. Wickedness has been institutionalized. Governments, parliaments pass laws to encourage evil on planet Earth. That's why government will endorse 
day as a way of life hello they will endorse endorse adultery as a way of life governments parliaments are making laws empowering children to disobey their parents empowering wives to rebel against their husbands governments are making laws all over the world to disrupt family values you will see a little boy of seven years that will say to the father pop shut up pop his father his name is pop not dad not father but pop <laughs> pop shut up sit down pop thank god for africa at least in africa we still find some little value a young girl said to us my dad is very stupid <laughs> if i were my mom i'd jail him my dad is very stupid if i were my mom i put him behind bars somebody's first daughter because the government she is living under passed a law empowering the children to deal with their parents at will they deal with their parents at will <laughs> the corruption now in fact you are not looking for sin sin is looking for everybody talk to me here are we looking for sin nowadays sin is looking for everybody young ladies if you don't don't if you don't go naked they will say you are not smart you are not educated you are not exposed until you go naked then you are educated is it not true talk to me now once you go naked on the road they say this is the main guy <laughs> nowadays nowadays they you come to marry somebody now one of the tests they do nowadays is drug tests because the way young ladies and young men live on drugs is terrible you test the blood of a young girl you will find a large quantity of franol and codeine large quantity of indian hemp young girls they use indian hemp to cook jollof rice when you see a young girl walking on the road naked and she's not ashamed don't condemn her yet test her blood some of them are high on drugs <laughs> she's not that she doesn't want to get get ashamed she's not she's not there so what young men do now if they want to get married to you as they check blood group and all the resource factor and all the genotype and all the hiv status they check for drugs in the blood she may look very fine but there are some there are some what's the name of this popular one tramadol <laughs> inside the blood hey a corrupt wicked generation god said to know i'm tired of this nonsense do me an ark do me an ark get me an ark ready i want you i want to get inside that ark i want to save you and your children and your wife and your son's wives i'm tired of this rubbish now let me ask you a question if god was tired of the generation of noah isn't he tired of this generation he's even more fed up but i don't know why but i still consider it to be part of his plan to restore as much as could be restored Amen. Amen. On the day Jesus will come, mercy will leave this earth. There will be no more mercy. Enjoy this mercy while it lasts. While it lasts. Do you know, brethren, God said to Noah, build me an ark. Hear me. That ark was not built in a month or two months or three months. God was patient. Patience is part of his plan. He was patient. The building of that ark was a stretch of God's patience for humanity. It was the longevity of, longevity of God's patience was expiring with the building of that ark. The Bible said that Noah was a preacher of righteousness. A preacher of holiness. If you preach righteousness in this generation, Many will send you a chat. Stop preaching like this. You will lose members. 
because this generation is a generation interested in crowd interested in members nothing is wrong if they're coming for the right purpose if what i do in wednesday prayer is cha 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 stand up there's a tree behind your father's house the eye is red the leg is blue and behind your father's compound there is a blue gate in fact you just ate apple and gare before you left the house and the person i'm talking to will say man of god that is true that is true mumuish mentality ignorant people who don't know scriptures nor the word of god let me tell you false prophets will multiply more because people are gullible and they want to listen to them if you are a pastor or a preacher here I make no apology. Don't be moved by all the visions and prophecies that go on in town. Keep teaching. Keep preaching what God gave you. All these things will pass away. But the word of God will remain forever. What is it? You want a gift on how to see vision so that people will run after you. Their God is their belly and their end is destruction. Go to all those places where they see vision and prophecy. Majority of them cannot bring you to the Lord. If I, if I tell you who is killing you in your family and how your family has become so bad and so destroyed and how they bury charm and how somebody wants to build an altar to destroy you and all that, how have I helped you? You will just live with fear and tension and sleepless night. I have just frustrated you. Somebody walked into my house one day and she said she was a prophetess. You know what she said to me? She said, a group of occult men want to kill you. They want to kill you. You need to come to our fellowship so that we pray for you. I said, are you sure? She said, yes, as I'm coming. I entered into the house and looked for a very good machete. You know machete? Obejiri. <laughs> I got one. By the time she saw machete, nobody asked her. Anything anybody is telling you that does not agree with the word of God is from the pit of hell. If I'm communicating with your hairline, eh? concentrate on the word. Don't concentrate on visions and prophecy. They are very deceptive. They can put fear and worry and tension into you. Oh, my sister in Abbas saw a dream. She saw a dream where I died. My auntie in Lagos saw a dream where I died. My elder brother in Abuja, their pastor said, there is your sister in Onicha. Uh, I had a dream. Death is pursuing her. And they call you on phone and tell you all that. You start shaking. Hey! If, I, if Keke now move this way and just to over a stone. Hey! Fakuli they put fear into you. Can you stand up? Can you stand up, everybody? Say to your neighbor, say it in anger. You are not a dream. You are a reality. Don't allow dreams to control the plan of God in your life. I have said it in fellowship. Keep standing and I will say it again. If you have a bad dream or a dream that is unpleasant, there's no need to worry. If I tell you my dreams, you run away. Do I tell you dreams? Only look here. Do I tell you dreams? Do I come and start telling you dreams? If I tell you my dreams, you will run. But I'm not a dream. I'm a reality. I'm a substance. I'm tangible. Dreams are images. Images can't control the plan of God for my life. I will only be controlled by what God said. No dream. No vision. We control the way I live. Only this book, we control it. Oh, you had a dream where you died. If you were the one that died, you will not wake up. The devil wants to put fear into you to accept that you are about to die and death will start following you. Because what you believe is what will happen to you. Man of God, I had a dream and I ate poison. I ate poison. 
and I will ask you, are you sick? No, but I ate it. The plan of God is not a dream. God can show you something in the dream, but don't allow dream to regulate your life. Your life must be controlled by the word of God. Only. If you have a bad dream, or a dream you don't like, wake up in the morning and decree it will not come to pass. And forget about it. If you have a dream, and that dream is so real, almost so, so real, still decree. Because it's so real, but I don't like it, it will not happen. Do you even believe in in Jesus name we prayed? When you have said in Jesus name we prayed, you have said it all. Father, if you have a dream and it's a wonderful one, like a dream where you were you 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 were doing wedding in a plane going to Paris. Good one. <laughs> Decree it will happen. If you have a dream and you don't understand that dream say lord jesus i had a dream i have forgotten i don't understand but it seems so scared i don't want it to happen in jesus name amen if it is good let it happen in jesus name amen if you have prayed like this you have done enough believers oh my god say to everybody when you have prayed in jesus name you have done enough you don't need anything extra. I want to. I went to dedicate somebody's. Somebody built a very big guest house by five thirty six a.m. this morning. I went to go and dedicate it. And the person was telling me, "You came to our town last year." I said, "Sure." He said, our town was a remote village when you came December last year, uh, January last year. I said, sure. He said, you need to come back to our town. Because when I finished praying in their town, I told them that between that time I prayed that prayer and this January 2021, 20, that their town will become a London. Everybody there was laughing. Pastor, pastors flew everywhere. It was a whole community prayer, liberation. The man said to me, you need to come to my town on the 2nd of January again. I said, why? He said, my town has become a London. I said, I don't understand. He said, every road in my town has been bad. In a year, it's a very big town with six big villages. He's a man of God. I said, you will not know that place again. Our sons and daughters in America, they came back and they changed everywhere. A town that has been in bondage for over 200 years. God in a year. He was testifying this morning. He said, look, I don't want to tell you everything. I want to come and see a surprise. That means God still has a plan. And his plan will prevail. His plan is not a dream of the night. Don't allow that dream to keep you uncomfortable. Touch your neighbor and say, you are not a dream. You are not a dream. You are a reality. You are a reality. You are a substance. A reality. Take your seat. I'm almost done. Noah built an ark. And Noah built the ark. He preached and nobody wanted to enter. The plan of God was to save so many. But because so many refused the plan, animals took their place. May nobody replace you in the plan of God for your life. I'm talking to only 22 of you. Only 22 of you right now. I give this prophecy. May nobody replace you in the plan of God for your life. Human beings rejected the plan for salvation. Animals took over. God said because human beings don't want to enter the ark. Invite animals. Clean and unclean. Bring them in keep them alive a shocker came don't blame people who did not listen to Noah like now you say Jesus is coming they will say since we were born you have been saying Jesus is coming he has not come he may never come 
Even pastors have started preaching against the coming of Jesus. You may not believe this. Many, many pastors are no more. They say Jesus is coming. That don't worry. Everything is here. Heaven, earth, joy, life, everything here. Forget. Many are preaching because they are even not believing that he will eventually come. After all, it was. 2000 years ago the bible say in the last days in the last so the last days began on the day of pentecost so we are if last days began then well, well then this thing will not happen but it will happen i said it will happen i said it will happen one day nanya and abo make it farm <laughs> god have mercy on this generation do you know noah built an ark number one listen to this nobody has ever built a boat in the days of noah nobody has ever built a boat now my question is what kind of brain did god give noah to build a ship on dry ground because at that time navigation by sea has not yet been introduced there was nothing like ship on high sea is somebody hear what i'm saying here in the days of noah there was no ship on high sea nobody has built a boat before to say Noah brought a clue from somebody but Noah was building something that God gave him skill to do in the plan of God if you are in God's plan the skill to do what you were born to do shall be available I pray for you as we wrap up 2020 the remaining part of this year the skill to accomplish well receive it in the name of Jesus the wisdom the wisdom the revelation the insight to accomplish the dream the goal the plan take it now take it now if you are among the 25 take it now in the name of the lord jesus take your seat the bible said noah built this ark finished it well amen finished it well the ark had deck in one deck in two and deck in three down middle and upper deck it was god who introduced story building <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> god was the one who did what who introduced decking it wasn't us he introduced it and they began noah began to construct that kind of structure on dry ground now people were laughing at him because in the days of noah what they had was what they called the antediluvian antediluvian is a climate that permits only dew not rain so if rain was falling heavy like it fell two days ago here and you say god will destroy the earth with water it makes some sense but since rain don't fall water come out of the ground to water the earth and dew come and no rain before and you tell me god will destroy the earth with rain it doesn't make sense am i communicating here no i was preaching like that nobody listened to him until he completed the project let me say this to all of you there are about 15 of you looking at me the project you started you'll be alive to complete it and you will enjoy it in your lifetime noah started the ark noah completed the ark noah enjoyed the ark you will start you will finish you will enjoy it can i give that prophecy to only 22 of you right now father i speak as your servant somebody here about 22 of them in all your efforts in life you will start you will finish you will enjoy in the name of jesus rise of nazareth take your seat the plan of god will prevail do you know brethren noah noah finished the project and god said to him oh my god some things in the bible shocked me did you hear me read this morning that god told noah to cover the entire layer of the ark with kolota coal tar or whatever you call tar this thing that aluminium or petroleum sorry petroleum product that we get out of petroleum in a crude oil crack did not start today in the you know in the garden of eden there was aromatic resin god had put crude oil inside the ground in the days of noah they could tap crude oil and get the tar you didn't hear what i said there was technology in their time after all one of the generations of cain cain's eldest son married a woman called you know ada and zila is that Anzila? and they had children one of the sons of ada and zila was tubal cain and these people were experts 
in technology. I don't know what I'm communicating here. In those days, technology was already in vogue. The three things that ruled the world, technology, agriculture, and entertainment, all of them came from polygamy. Oh, there's no time to explain that to you. The first man who married two wives in the Bible gave birth to three children, three sons. Number one was an expert in iron and brass. Number two was an expert in rice, livestock, you know, raising of an animal husbandry. And the third one was an expert in making musical equipments. When you talk about musical equipment, I talk about the world of entertainment. Talk about agriculture, food basket. Talk about technology. So the three things that rule the world came out of polygamy. That's why the devil is masterminding it till tomorrow. But my message is this. It was still in the plan of God. That what evil produced, God will turn it for good. Am I communicating here? For all things we work together for good to them that fear the Lord. And accord according to his purpose. Now hear this. Noah entered the ark and used tar to cover the ark to prevent water from surging in. Now listen to me. We don't need a cold tar in our own time, in our own ark. All we need is the blood of Jesus. It's enough sealing. Throughout this Christmas season, you are too sealed. No external interferences. I say no external pressure will enter. I'm talking to only 28 of you right now. Every pressure you were receiving before now in the village, every, anywhere you travel to, today, the blood of Jesus seals on that environment. And you are preserved. You are protected. You are sustained. Can I hear a dangerous amen if you're a believer here? Take your seat. Hear me. Noah entered the ark and God himself closed the ark. Noah did not close the ark. God closed it. What does that mean? Only God knows when your trouble will end. Only God knows when to answer your prayer. Only God knows when to settle the matter. Am I communicating here? You may make plan like Noah. Build ark, put door. Only God can open or close. Hey, am I communicating here? When Noah have entered, all the animals entered... Uh, this bible is just too awesome do you know brethren all the animals that entered the ark carnivorous animals were also there you didn't hear what i said though right man hippopotamus was there lions were there crocodile they were there bear bear they were there antelopes the tortoise the tortoise was there name it all of them were there now my question is god was patient enough to wait for snails to come in talk to me now they were not moving at the same pace god was patient enough to wait for mbe to come in tortoise you know how tortoise go no hurry in life don't, don't be jealous of anybody it's a question of time it's a matter of time I, I don't know what I'm communicating here be jealous of nobody the ark waited until the final guest arrived that thing you're looking for it will not run away from your destiny the plan of God will bring you there I said the plan of God will bring you there I said the plan of God we prevail. We bring you there. God was patient. The man who carried me to go and dedicate the massive guest house this morning, he said, Reverend, do you know how I began life in our nature? In 1976, I said no. He said, I began life by being a truck pusher in our chanja. He saw somebody passing with truck. He pointed, look at that man. That was my job in 76, 77, towards 78. I pushed enough truck. I carried enough cement. Hmm? Hmm. Anybody who saw him at that time will write him off. 
let me announce to you before the next one month those who laughed at you will look at you and they will shake their body say can god do this for somebody those who wrote him off then those who, who, who wrote him off then when he was telling me that story something was touching me those who wrote him off then can match his level now because he buys houses in the most expensive places how much do they sell a piece of land in GRE on each other here? How much? In GRE on how much do they sell a piece of land? If, if there's any land cheap there, it should be 150 million naira. If it is too cheap, it should be 150 million. If Akbaka is up to 30 million or 28 million, GRA should be 150 or more. Somebody will just go there, buy a land, build an edifice, and pack him. You tell me that God is not helping him. He said, Daddy, uh, uh, tomorrow I will pay a tax of $28,000. Tax for his company in America. Tax of $28,000. Somebody who pay a tax of $28,000. Is he too small? Is he a small boy? And I said to him, then why are you so humble? He said, because I started by being a humble man. He said, there's no reason to brag now because I knew where I started. See, those who are, he said, those who are bragging, maybe their fathers were too rich or their mothers were too comfortable and they were made them big guy. Me, I started from no, nowhere, nobody, Mr. Nobody, and see where I am today. Your story now is not the end of the story. Stand on your feet. Say to your neighbor, you see your story now? is not the end of the chapter another chapter is opening up when people say it's over god said i'm just about to begin when they insult you and write you off don't worry he has a plan i say he has a plan i say he has a plan my plan <laughs> eh? somebody who is wasting time he has he has a plan oh forget about him he's a nobody he's a lie if you are with god just allow him be the one taking you on the journey take your seat one of my sons in the lord living abroad sent 40 million naira the eldest brother whom he gave the money to make investment buy land and build house for him chop the money he first of all sent 14 million later he sent 10 million the elder brother quashed the two money the man the young the young man actually bought the land though but in his own name i don't know what i'm communicating here he bought he used the brothers the younger brother's money to buy land in his own name built house in his own name opened business in his own name when the boy came back the boy was in prison for seven years when he finally returned and asked the elder brother to return all his uh, show me my property blah 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 and while he was in prison the guy will snap the house and send but the house was not in the name of the owner Somebody living abroad now said to me, I want to build a house, but I don't know whom to give the money. All my brothers are rogues. <laughs> People hardly trust their own siblings nowadays. He came to my office. He said, man of God, I want to end our family. So what do you mean? He said, I'll kill myself. I'll kill my brother. And I will burn the house. Burn the whole properties down. You know, this boy don't take drugs you know send you don't go to prison come out in i read but thank god for jesus he came to my office and was crying and shouting and screaming you could see a wounded lion talking i didn't stop him from crying i allowed him to cry i allowed him to weep and weep away the burden when he i followed him to cry because he must cry with those who cry the story he told me broke my own heart he was crying i was crying 
complete 16 years of hard labor went down the drain and I said when he finished crying I gave him a handkerchief to clean his eyes I said look at me he looked at me and said you are a rich man this young man has been in Nigeria he couldn't buy a land he couldn't build a house he used your own money to do all that I said to him take a monkey to United States he's still a monkey you see that money he's with he will still go down to zero like before and come back to you for school fees it will only be in three years he said what will I do I said the small money you came back with two million naira leave go to Lagos with it start hustling I said, I will, I will, I said go and pay tight he took 200,000 pay tight from the 2 million I said use 1.8 go down to Lagos start life he agreed he used the 1.8 went down to Lagos and began after 2 years he told me that God has established me all the contacts he had abroad they began to send some things to him they began to sell he started making money he, he said to me why he was calling me on phone was say I have bought a land in Lagos and I say, look, we are saying, say, first tax. I say, first tax, that's a good place. He built a house. I'm telling you, true life story. After three years, this is brother in our nature, imported particular brand of goods. And they went and put contraband inside it. That's how four containers were seized. They struggled oh, for where the goods couldn't come out. He had to sell that house, sell the first one, sell the second one. Even after selling the whole building, the goods couldn't come out. The only one he was living, the only one he was living, he had to sell it and became a tenant in three years. I told the young man, just three years' time. Then after three years, they were hungry. They were they were frustrated in this city, no nature but that. <laughs> and the, the younger brother in Lagos, who was a very big boy now, called me on phone and said, Do you know that guy sold shame? And call me on phone for school fees. I said, but I told you you will pay school fees. So. I said, man of God, I will never do it. I said, shut up. You don't talk to me like that. Will you send them school fees? That are your siblings. Send school fees. Send money for food. Take a monkey to China. He's still a monkey. Oh, you didn't, you didn't hear what I said. You know these goats, they call hill goats. Hmm? Buy the goat, use Tura soap, Tetimoso. Are you hearing me? Use uh, Dito, Isa, name them, Aipo, <laughs> to give it a clean bath. Uh, Why you are cleaning the water? The smell. You know, Ezebida, take Ezebida, take Ezebida to the bathroom, bath the Eze. Use cream, rub the pig. Immediately you leave the pig. <laughs> Unless Jesus takes over that life, that life cannot change. Today, when he import goods, he sends to that his brother in on the market to sell. <laughs> you didn't hear what I said. You may delay it, but you cannot deny it. Am I communicating here? You see a girl, tall, fair, with long nose, educated, born again, spirit filled, don't talk in demon chasing, fire, fire. She won't get a husband. But you see, you see one whose face looks like in your so to say. 21 men we begging her to marry them. There are some things with destiny you cannot deny. I don't know what I'm communicating here. I speak into your life under God. Whatever has kept you stagnant, I'm talking to 30 of you now. He's broken right now. He's broken right now. He's broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, do your hand like this. Every stagnation is broken. Every stagnation is broken. I am going forward in my life. 
Wisdom is profitable to direct. The plan of God is wisdom to stay on course with God until he brings you to destiny. Wisdom is patience under God until he brings you to destiny. Somebody say amen. amen. Take your seat. I'm almost done. Do you know when they entered the ark, the rain came. 40 days, the heavenly water vapor canopies, the stratosphere, or wherever the water was locked up was released. And the water locked on the ground was released. It was a terrible downpour, surge up and down for 40 days. The entire, the, 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 the tallest of the mountains were covered. But do you know, Noah's ark was floating on top of the water. For the rest of 2020, before we enter January 2021, all the troubles in Nigeria will keep you afloat. I say it shall keep you afloat. This year was the best year for so many people. Through or false, talk to me, somebody here. The same thing that destroyed people kept some afloat, kept some moving. I was I was listening to DW News. They said the amount of money that will be lost by retailers in Germany between now and January because they are on lockdown now. So all the retailers, those who are selling retail, they will lose 10 billion euros from now till January because this is the greatest time people sell. Ipome market now, Anafuso. Purchases are going on January, no, December, January. They said because there is a lockdown in Germany, that the economies have sat down, calculated the sales that should have happened from now till January, and they found out that Germany will lose 10 billion euros. It's, it's in the news. Now, I thought to myself, 10 billion, billion euros will be lost from now till January. Now, and I, and I said, how will they survive? Now, in Nigeria during lockdown, you know how much transport has lost? It was in their billions. But somehow, we are surviving it. There is, oh my God, may your life not be controlled by the economy of the world. May God be the one sustaining your life. I see you rising above the challenges, rising above the trouble. Listen, if Gary is one cup, one thousand, God will give it to you. You didn't hear what I said. If a bag of rice is fifty thousand, God will give you the money to buy it. When the trouble multiply, God will multiply the grace. We multiply the favor. We multiply the connection. For where iniquity abound, grace abounds even more. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hey, I conclude by saying that ark kept on floating on top of the problems of life. What destroyed others elevated the ark. I speak to 10 of you. Whatever is destroying people around you will cause your elevation. Will cause your elevation. Will cause your elevation. There are about six of you listening to me. An idea God will give you this December will make you a great person by 2021. Receive that divine revelation. Receive that divine idea. Sit down and hear this as we conclude. Do you know another shocker is that inside that ark was a paradise inside that ark the carnivorous spirit of lion was lost you didn't hear what I'm saying does lion eat antelope does lion eat um, goat but do you know inside the ark lion and goat became friends everybody ate straw like goat Ipopo Tamus became Ipopo my brother it was a state of tranquility and peace. That ark was heaven on earth. That ark was paradise on earth. Everybody inside the ark was safe, provided for, and comfortable. I speak prophetically. For 15 of you looking at me, what was meant to become destruction will befriend you. What was meant to harm you will bow before you. What was meant for your trouble shall become a blessing to your life. If you believe it, say amen three times wherever you are. I'm sure when goat entered the ark and saw lion, goat said, Umunem, 
Oh, I can see <laughs> to keep me in the same room with a, a lion is the worst thing anybody could do but he did not know the power of lion to harm a goat has been taken away you will only find out at the end of today's program that what was meant to destroy you will come and bow down before you there are about 18 of you looking at me all the altars that have been fighting you the owners of the altars will perish for your sake we 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 perish for your sake they invited me for a crusade in togo i told my wife let's go together i am my wife we were traveling on abc transport because they said that time that flight going straight to togo was i don't know what happened I don't know it was in bellevue or nigerian airways so we had to go by road we entered abc transport from lagos going to lome on our way somebody called me it was my daughter in abuja she said daddy do you know my boss i did interview i have passed all those we did interview with have been given their promotion letters only me because i stand against evil in that office my director is sitting on my file and have vowed that i shall never be promoted and if i am not if my name is not listed and i'm giving a letter now he is going on sabbatical for one year on study leave abroad and and will come back and then i can now write the exam again by then my mates are now two steps ahead of me and i did not do anything wrong and i said to her when will the man be going for the leave he said tomorrow morning ah, ah. i said okay what do you want he said i want us to cancel the leave <laughs> until my paper is signed i held my wife's hand confirm what i'm saying tell them it's true i held her hand i said father the office of so so and so in abuja i put trouble in it father let the august the minister have trouble with the man this night father let sleep 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 run away from the man let 15 angels with drawn sword pursue him pursue him pursue him father let his food not digest <laughs> you cannot attack the righteous and get away with it father let there be trouble in his car let him miss his flight There is no manner of hope your job prayer. We are no prayer. <laughs> Lord, let her paper be signed tomorrow. She is qualified for this. Anybody sitting on your blessing, fire will catch the person. Whatever they are, fire will catch them. You see, I said, daughter, I said, I said pray 12 midnight, wake up my language of prayer repeat so we arrived lome the next morning and and um, she called me <laughs> he said daddy praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord i said hallelujah 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 amen <laughs> father amen what happened the man couldn't sleep in the night there are some prayers we we'll pray it will be hotlined every prayer you pray this morning will be hotline it will enter heaven and provoke a miracle maybe because i pray the prayer with my wife because two are better than one do you know brethren quickly quickly the man woke up in the morning rushed to his office directors don't go to office by 6 a.m he was rushing to the office and called the office secretary. Open the office. I'm on fire. Open the office. He came to the office. I'm telling you a true life story. He came to the office, looked for fire. They were, the secretary was telling my daughter that he was looking for fire. Where is Mrs. Uh, where is his fire? They quickly, because he's the one that threw it away. They were searching for it. And his flight was 8 o'clock. 
and he can't miss his flight. Or he will cancel his trip. Or his food will not digest. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> the man quickly, they searched for the file, got the file, he signed, all the, the secretary was like, okay, what is it? He said, don't ask me any question. I didn't sleep yesterday night. He signed the file, wrote the letter of promotion, stamped it, put in the envelope, wrote the woman's name, gave it to the secretary, tell her to leave me alone! Tell her to leave me alone! Jump inside his car and traveled. Tell her to leave me alone! Tell her to leave me alone! And my daughter was called that morning. She came to the office on Thursday morning and collected her promotion letter, which was due for her. She called me and said, Daddy, you can't believe it. I said, I believe it. She said, I have my promotion letter that had been delayed for six months. I have it in my hand. Nobody will block your way. If it is the plan of God to get you across, they can't block your way. Can you shout amen if you believe what I'm talking about here? Amen. If you believe what I'm talking about here. As we pray, everybody in the ark was comfortable. Those outside the ark were lost. The name of that ark is Jesus Christ. Once you come into him, there is guarantee for deliverance, for salvation, for healing, for provision. It may take time, but it will surely come. The plan of God will always prevail. Despite the delays, the challenges, the troubles, do you know the ark continued to float until he rested on Mount Ararat? God will never place you on a valley. He will rest you in a place highly elevated where everybody can see. Stand on your feet. Let's, let's go. If you were blessed, take two minutes, share with somebody what you have learned. Take two minutes, share with somebody what you have learned and we we'll leave here. I'm done.